everything that we need over here at 8 on the break. Because we're about to start Street Fighter as we pound people's faces in. So we're going to have Sage versus Diving. Diving, you playing Fang. I actually really, really do like the Fang. Uh, the way people are picking up Fang and pushing him to be a better character. Uh, Alex Vaya said that Fang is one of the characters that will actually be very, very, very good for the long run. Very nice start off for Dominion. Looking really solid. There's not much approach here from Sage, but he's in there. And setting up the wall for Sage to try to get through. Gets the knee, gets inside, but oh so familiar this character is to Dominion. Oh, no response for an anti air there. Not enough time, but. It seems like Sage loses pressure, and it's time for Dominion to set up the traps and the pressure. Bang. But that's a full combo for Sage, and this could be close to the end of the game, depending on the options and all the pressure. Nice backdash into EX DP. But Dominion is sitting on a full bar of meter, and that is not so good for Sage. Sage playing it really slow here, just looking for any opportunity to open him up. And Dominion missing the, the poison drops there. But gets the pressure in the corner, and the poison is taking away on Sage. Sage has to do something and respond to this. Oh man, the poison ticks are really serious. Very nice by Dominion putting up the pressure and gets the mix up, and that's going to be a full combo into a lot of damage. Oh, actually, very nice by Sage, but still gets stuff for it. And Dominion is looking so solid here. Very smart to throw the poison in front of him, just nullifying the fireball and the pressure. Sage looking for an opportunity, using the fireballs to zone in and gets a jump in, and there's a good combo. Half a life, half life thing already. Diamond is kind of fishing for something. Actually gets the dash under for a combo. And, oh, that's going to be a lot of damage. Very nice by Sage. And being cautious and actually gets the Scythe Kick to finish it. And Sage is going to go up one. And Dominion looking to go to the character select and possibly going to switch to um, Gaal, Sage. And yeah, switch to Gaal. Uh, from what I've heard, people don't like the Gaal versus Nash matchup. I feel like Nash uh, kind of overpowers Gal a little bit with the pressure. But uh, I'd like to see how Dominion handles it. Uh, being an old Gal head, Gal head. I think uh, the corner is going to be one of his best friends. Going to shut down some of that beat trigger. Starts it off with Sonic Boom. And that is a big problem. No meter almost most of the time because uh, you can't throw a fireball there. So you're going to see. Uh, Dominion most likely throw fireballs at a closer range, something that uh, Sage can't respond to. Very nice pressure. Great blocking from Dominion. Sage looking for an opportunity to just, just not have to forcefully keep running into these Sonic Booms. And this is looking a lot better for Dominion right here. He's playing a lot more patient, a lot more uh, reserved. Just building meter, not even trying to worry about finishing. It gets the overhead to finish. Very nice fire ex fireball. Start off the match, and it looks like Dominion is not fearing this at all right now. 
He he's noticed that he can pressure him, and he has the stun meter on Sage. Sage is struggling to get out of it. Gets flash kicked, and that's the stun, and that should be the end of the, the round. Going for max damage there in the corner just to make sure and solidify uh, that win there. Diamond, you're tying it up 1-1. Round one. Fight. Hopefully Sage can find a way to respond to this and is applying his own pressure with sidekick and fireballs. That might be the response. Nice nice job sucking in the fireball there, but there's a good counter, crush counter. It looks like Sage is coming in with the pressure. Ooh, catches him grabbing. So good for Sage right now. Nice anti-air, crush medium, another one. Diamond is going to have to be careful on his jump-ins. Ooh. Sage going Sage. for the second grab. Yo. This could, Sage on match. That's good enough to work once. Yeah, nay, man. He was patient about it, and he dashed in. It's really hard to react to. It. Oh, that yeah. might have been an opportunity for... Uh, uh, kind of clever. Well, to say, I... Playing a little bit more reserved again, uh, like he did in the first match. Or the classic time minion? Yeah, but you know, he did get the pressure going for a minute, but now yeah, he's back. There goes the V back. skill, so. You're gonna throw booms all day, and I'm just gonna eat him all day. Well, Sage did show that he can actually shut it down with um, the, the Soul Stealer grab. Right. It still is a meter. But. Right now, it looks like Diamond is standing in that weird range where even if he tried, it wouldn't work, but... Oh, Ooh. Flash can respond to that. Here comes that Good thing. vertical oh. hitbox. Sage kind of cracking a little bit here. And it's just like the wall of okay, defense lands that a jump in. Oh, it lands a counter hit, wake up. Oh, oh. grabs him out of the V-reversal. And, and catches him with the V-skill. Finishes it. Sorry, V-trigger. Sage... Sage actually taking yeah. that whole match. Very close, though. Very nice.